Good morning, folks. A lot to get to today, but we'll start about as fast as this poor Michigan man is going, stuck in the floods. Here we go. The Max Planck Institute has a plan to let us smokers keep on puffing forever. This brown dwarf Genesis article is awesome. It even suggests our solar system could have one. Testing shows high amounts of silicon in the mantle. It's a good read here. Under the category of what the hell are they thinking, you can now learn how to make H5N1. Thanks for making that public, Jagoffs. Weather changes are threatening the other global bread basket, or rice basket if I want to be accurate. The U.S. has some new rules on fracking. Little baby steps here, but it's in the right direction. This is almost a joke, and these folks get to play with a black hole machine? Okay. Australian scientists say they have proof of the Antarctic ice changing due to the effects of warming ocean water. And last, because I'm an animal lover, I hope we can all get behind this. If they would kindly update SOHO past May 3rd, you would be able to see Jupiter over here creeping in ever closer to a solar conjunction. Here on the Ovation Prime, you can see space weather is light this morning. The tall dark coronal hole is right on pace to be facing us tonight and tomorrow. Just above center here you might notice a small eruption. It was a tiny plasma filament looking on stereo A with the earth off to the left. You can see multiple ejections with the one to the left potentially being earth directed. Having a look at the solar active regions of note, we've watched this one for days, worried about the red central spot but it is just not joining the big one on the left. The only chance of instability here is if red gets in this little slit in the big spot. The primary active region on the sun is now cresting the northeastern limb behind the coronal hole. It is big, already magnetically complex, and will be the biggest solar worry this weekend. You already know tonight is a supermoon. Get out and see it for Pete's sake. Mercury is also conjoining Saturn today and Jupiter is creeping in behind the sun ever slowly. But if I can jump two weeks ahead, we have a solar eclipse coming that will be visible for a large part of the U.S. I hope you're paying attention to all this stuff, folks. There's a lot going on. That's the news. Be safe.